All right, well, it's not October yet, but my friend decided that I have to say something about Oktoberfest because apparently October is the only time when we can observe German stuff. So it's August and we're going to observe German stuff now. Don't mention the war. German shit. All right, barring any other unforeseen gravity-induced tragedies, we will continue cooking. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host. I am Sean and Chef von Dach. I think that's German of the day. I don't know. Chef of... Chef du jour. Fuck it. Whatever. Anyway, today we're doing German stuff. But before we start cooking, we need a drink, as all good chefs know. Today's drink is German beer. What makes German beer German? Well, it comes from Germany. What makes stuff German? Basically, I found out because if people say it's German, then it's German. It's good. Okay, this is the problem I have with beers. But the glasses don't fit it. As everyone knows, the English love the Germans. So let's get cooking. This is Spaten. We'll call it Spaten. Self-rising flour. Measure carefully. <laughs> All right, let's get some baking powder. What's the difference between baking powder and baking soda? I don't have a freaking clue. I always wonder what a clapper girl is. Maybe they meant to say clapper, like she has the clap. Clapper! Real butter, not that fake shit. You know about my feelings about fake damn butter. And when I go to the hospital with a heart attack, I'm going to say, Doc, I have no idea why my arteries are so clogged. A little bit of salt. A cup of sugar. A little sugar. Audience, hello. Eyes up on me. Whatever I'm making is actually called spotting. I don't know. That's one of the words that stuck out. Because if you don't banter, then it's just like a silent movie of cooking. German words actually have no meaning whatsoever. They just put syllables together. The German people understand one another based on context. Fafrenugen. You immediately know that I'm talking about Volkswagens. Spice eine good. Fafrenugen. A German person totally understands what that means. Cakeish. It didn't say what kind of oil. And hopefully I'm remembering the recipe correctly. So let's ooh. And let's throw the egg all over the damn floor. And some milk, because it's sort of be supposed to be kind of like a cake-ish deal. This is what else we need right here. Vanilla. Oh, Jesus, that was a lot of vanilla. Cinnamon. I'm kind of bored with this already. But I'm going to add allspice. Cloves. Ground cloves. Sure. Nutmeg. Like 400 is a great temperature to bake shit at. It's very scientific. I've noticed. It's complicated. I got two kinds of apples, and I don't know which one to put in this cakey thing. If you put Fuji apples, Fuji, like Mount Fuji in Japan, and we're putting it in a German thing, no, no, if you go to Germany and you eat sushi in Germany, then are you eating Japanese food or is it German food? Now, A, it's not the first time that the Germans and the Japanese have been aligned. You know, is it still German food? Don't mention the war. Oh, I got a text message. Apparently, I'm cooking at mom's house tomorrow. Maybe I'll film it. One of the hazards of baking is stuff all over the damn place. So now, if I'm in Louisiana and I'm making German food, then is it Louisiana food or is it German food? I don't fucking know. My soul is pristine. Sure, we'll go with that. I don't know what to bake this in. The oven? I know, the freaking oven. That's the word I was looking for, strudel. In an oven, boy, it sure is heavy. That's definitely not going in the video. <laughs> Barrel your water. Because, you know, when you think of Germany, you think of potatoes. I thought that was Ireland. When your potato falls on the floor, use it anyway. Salt has magical qualities. It makes water boil faster, but it also makes stuff cool. Like, you use ice cream salt to cold, cool down ice cream. Much to my shock and amazement, Wiener Schnitzel has no Wieners in it. The store had no veal. All right, don't just, please don't use just plain fucking flour. Spice it up with something. Garlic. Just 
There may be a quiz later. Cayenne pepper? No, let's use paprika. Because that's European. Pane are pork chops. Remarkably similar to my griots that I did in my grams and grits episode. I go to look up schnitzel and it's fucking griots. Typical of the Germans, they're gonna steal shit from everybody else. Oh, you have griots? Oh, we want it. We're gonna call it schnitzel. Don't mention the war. Now, Germans, they do have great beer. I have to hand them that. Oh, speaking of which, bread it lightly. So I just had to defrost it in the microwave. No, it's not hot, it's leaking. Uh -oh. All right, I forgot bacon. Turkey bacon? Really? Like the word Luftwaffe. It pertains to their air, to the German Air Force, apparently. Two words, Luft, which sounds like loft. Luft, floating, or maybe an upstairs apartment. And Waffe, which sounds like waffle, meaning a breakfast food. Or perhaps somebody that, that talks like this, whatever, talking waffles on, like, you know, like this. So we could have a floating breakfast food, Luftwaffe. Somebody speaking constantly to themselves in an apartment upstairs. Let's throw some bacon in there. You no, know, but that's a good idea. All right, since we're in Louisiana, we try not to stab myself. Some crab oil. We throw that into the potatoes. And I'm out of beer. You know what? I'm kind of over beer. So I'm gonna go back. And go, ah! I'm okay. Okay, that's one of the hazards of dripping bacon grease. Javier, clean out the house, dude. Okay, boss. I was speaking of influences. I never did make my damn drink. There's no shortage of disasters here on CUI. Oh, fuck. Great shit going on. Be my, be my baby. When I was growing up, we had a big, giant, like, Crisco tub of baking grease. Mm -hmm. Poke chops, lightly breaded, turn the heat down. Schnitzel! I got the music in me. What's the rest of the words? You know what the German word for glove is? Hand shoe. Really? Hand shoe? Germans don't realize that English, people that speak English can understand what they're saying. You can't really figure out what Gesundheit means from just the way it sounds. It means nothing. You sneeze, Gesundheit. It means, you know, may the sneeze fairies not cause pneumonia. The past participle of Parfrig Nugent? Yes. It could be. Awesome! Mm. Hi. You are so getting edited out of this whole damn video. <laughs> I don't have a freaking clue what I'm doing. I've never made damn German food before. This is all just mm. like made up crap. Uber schnitzel. Ooh, Uber schnitzel. I kind of like that. I've got the spotting schnitzel smooky minky in the freaking mm. oven. Oh, there's a real word, Schadenfreude. Do you know what that means? That is gaining pleasure at the expense of someone else's epic fail. Schadenfreude. All right, this is beef. It's supposed to be veal. This is actually supposed to be Wiener Schnitzel. Schnitzel. Drain your potatoes. You need another frying pan. Because we got two different meat dishes here. I'm doing two different things. How exciting is that? It's Parfrig Nugent. Let's lay off the Parfrig Nugent, unless it's really appropriate. I was going to make some sauerkraut for this show, but when I started looking at the recipes, the first recipe said, get 50 pounds of cabbage. How about fucking no? Oh, it's, it's, it's poofy. Ooh. Is it supposed to be poofy? If we let it cool, maybe it won't be quite as poofy, because I'm not sure that this is supposed to be very poofy. Where are we? We got two pans going here. And I lost track of what the fuck I'm doing. What's all the bacon for? Oh, I know. Refocus. Let's put some flour in our oily stuff. I remember what I'm going to do. So now that it's off the heat and I don't have anything to do with it, let's put some vinegar in there. 
vinegar. Ooh, it smells like boiling vinegar. Let's take a nougat. Don't <laughs> mock my juggling skills. Come on! Alright, fuck the juggling. Alright, onions. Oh, and today is a holy day of obligation, which means that all the Mexicans were not out front of the Home Depot. So I needed Mexicans to dig up my front yard, and there were none available. I was going to add some beef stock, but I don't have any. I have chicken stock, so and we're sauteing our onions. And this with the bacon bits and shit in there. Mm. Potatoes are good. Crumble that bacon up into the potatoes. A little bit of bacon grease into the potatoes. Look, let's put some bacon grease in there. I'm gonna get some vinegar. That's an excellent idea, sour cream. Just a dollop. You're supposed to use ground mustard, dry mustard, but ain't got none. All right, our breaded pork that we got earlier. Throw that shit in there. Who doesn't love mushrooms? Put that in with your pork chops. Let's put our veal in there. So let's, I don't know, I don't have any liquid. What am I saying I don't have any liquid? I have tons of fucking liquid. Juniper berries, everybody's got that. Wait a second. You know what's made from juniper berries? Gin. Veal house, I like that. So on Cooking Under the Influence, this is what we do. We just make shit up. There's no such thing as too much gin, unless you're like an old bar fly. We all declare in Japan. If it's got Z's in there, it must be German. And let's add some heavy cream. Stop in the name of love. More apples slaving over a damn hot stove. Just for y'all's enjoyment. The great thing is, I'm going to be eating after this, and you're still going to be watching YouTube. I have to pee. Oh, Jesus. Apple cider vinegar. Boy, if there's ever a smell that you won't forget, it's boiling vinegar. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The medicine go down. I probably shouldn't sing. There's a little, one of the few times you see me using a damn measuring cup up in this bitch. Let's put some cinnamon and nutmeg. Brown sugar, how come you dance so good? It's bad enough I'm singing, there will not be dancing. Because this is me dancing. The white boy dance. An inordinate amount of unnecessary singing. What are we gonna call this? Um, Schnitzelbraten. Sure. Boom pa pa. Oh shit, I almost slipped again on the damn floor. The Alkaries are Norwegian, no herb. Norsk. Florida Magic Helmet! I've just declared that they are done. Apples. We've decided to call this Stolen. Stolen. Covered with glazy, sugary stuff. Okay, that came out darn good. Alright, we have our German Schnitzelbraten and our Wiener Schnitzel and our potato salad. What are we going to call potato salad? Let's call it Luftwaffe. Floating breakfast food. Sure, because you want potato salad for breakfast food. And our apples, we'll call it Schwietend apples. Okay. What tastes like peanut butter? Potato salad. You're kidding. My potato salad tastes like peanut butter. It does, doesn't it? How did you manage that? I have no idea how I did that. Peanut butter is not German. Peanut butter was invented by George Washington Carver. Apparently my potato salad tastes like peanut butter and I've been compared to Millie Vanilla. Bon appetit. Adios.